Welcome to the Passive Nomads channel from Diani Beach in Kenya. Um, after my time in Madagascar, which I enjoyed very much with our common friend Passive Nomads, I'm now here in Kenya and our friend asked me to do a video about the situation in Kenya, how it is here, how life is and everything. Um, let me start from the beginning. To travel to Kenya, you will need to apply to a visa online. It's not visa on arrival, so this is very important. Apply for a visa online and don't go to the airport even without this visa as they will not let you board the flight to come to Kenya if you don't have this visa. Um, then you might have the options of coming to either Nairobi, the capital city, which is the most modern city in East Africa and also the most expensive city probably in East Africa. Or you can fly to Mombasa, which is at the coast. The, 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 large, the second largest city of the country and the main hub if you want to go to the coast. If you don't have business in Nairobi, it's nice for partying maybe, but if you don't really have any business there, you might choose to come straight to the coast of Kenya. The beaches here are beautiful. You can see here it's like white sand, perfect beach. The weather now in December is also getting perfect. The, in November they had heavy rains with, with Big floodings, even people died around here. El Nino affected Kenya as well, as you can see. Kenya has the big advantage compared to Madagascar that everybody speaks perfect English here. It's the common language here after Swahili. And Madagascar, if you don't speak French, might be a tougher experience. What I like this time in my trip here, the Kenyan shilling, the currency here is in free fall. Uh, if I may compare, I've been here a year ago. I used to get from my euros between 115 and 120 shillings. And right now the euro to the shilling is at 165 or something like this, I think. Which makes like a 40% drop in the currency. Things have gotten a little more expensive. However, not as, not as much as the, as the currency got cheaper. So it's now even a better deal to come to Kenya and enjoy the coast here. Um, what can I tell you else? I'm here in Diani Beach, which is around one hour south of Mombasa. Many travelers prefer Mombasa. I don't. I can tell you why. It is like quite overcrowded. The beaches that you can see here now in the video are way more people running around. Way more beach boys gonna come to you and try to sell you something little from the coconut to some chips or whatever, boat trips, fishing trips. Here you actually pretty much unbothered. There is a few of these beach boy guys, but it's not so bad. The place I am staying is a is a beach club and resort. They have like you see here is a stage, even like a party place. There's a chill out area where you can chill, have your beers and drinks in the sun. Here there's like a kite school, there's a scuba shop for scuba diving. Up there right now close is even a club. It's like in the weekend nights there's like parties up there. You have a restaurant over there. Let me get closer. Here's the restaurant. There's a volleyball court and behind all this are like the, the rooms and a few villas even to stay in. And here, let me show that also because this is nice. There's a jungle gym where you can have your daily workouts and there's a climbing wall and everything so it's quite convenient you have everything in one spot you don't even need to go out of this place anymore and here is the perfect ocean the kite people set up their tent here it's not windy enough right now but the winds are gonna come so like in later in december it will be full of people who kite around here what else can I tell you now about the coastal area? It's actually quite safe, while Nairobi might be a little bit more dangerous, but less any big city, the, the dangers are bigger. Here it's chill. I would not say it's dangerous, even because like Diani is like a smaller place than, than Mombasa city itself. As I said, many of the, of the travelers prefer Mombasa, many, especially the male travelers or the single travelers, let me put like this prefer Mombasa due to the availability of local fun, if I may say so. It's not only male travelers, you will see also many female solo travelers here who get up when they walk on the beach, they get approached by the beach boys, which are hoping to get connected 
to the foreigners. And the final big dream of, of most of these people is like to marry a foreigner and to maybe find a passage to Europe to, to be taken out of, of, of Kenya and have a better life in Europe. Then food. Um, you have a, actually the entire variety. There is there's pretty much everything you might need. I, yesterday I had sushi, there's pizza restaurants, there's local food. It's quite affordable compared to European prices, especially now with the drop of the peso. That's a good thing. Myself, I'm renting a scooter for, I think it's like six euros a day. So I'm, I'm free to drive around, get anything I need, go to the, like the Carrefour or supermarkets. I even have a little kitchen in, in my place that I'm staying. So it's very comfy. You will not starve to death here and not be bored by the food also. The nightlife is good, I gotta say. There's a few clubs, even this tiny place of Diani, there's a few clubs that every night of the week you will find something happening, not be bored. Um, in Mombasa you obviously have the bigger clubs and bigger, bigger parties, but this place here is, is fine enough for me already. The other good places at the coast are Watamu. This is a beautiful spot though in my opinion a bit boring because it's, it's way more quiet than than Diani. Um, Watamu is like natural, very beautiful. It is There's a lot of Italian people. It's next to another coastal town called Malindi which is full of Italians. Which to me is perfect because I had the most amazing pizzas in, in Watamu. Because of the Italians they import all their ingredients to make their pizzas and this was a very nice experience to me um, I'm gonna stay here for like two months which is a nice way to spend your winters without the cold and snow of Europe which I'm trying to avoid I can recommend to come here you will not be regretting although it's probably even though drop of the of the currency it's probably like more expensive than the neighboring countries like Uganda or or Tanzania Tanzania is, is cheaper than this and you get anything else also in Tanzania if you fed up with the with the coast and the beach there's amazing safaris to be done here in in Kenya like the Masai Mara National Park is out of this world you get to see the big five and, and everything interesting in, within just like a two-day trip in there uh, you will enjoy this very much to to see lions leopards cheetahs buffalo giraffes elephants you name them it's all right there and and easily available in in, in the safaris so, so i recommend you if you come to kenya for sure to do the the safari and the best option is the Masai Mara. If you do Tanzania, uh, the other side of the border, it's the same park basically, it's the same area. It's the Serengeti National Park in Tanzania. And if you cross the border into the Kenyan side, it's the, the Masai Mara here. Yeah, actually this is pretty much all I can think of right now. I'm having a good time here and I would recommend everybody to come check it out if you have never been in Kenya. I will try to make other videos also from for our friend, so maybe you'll hear my voice again. Have a good day and don't forget to subscribe. Ciao!